good day everyone for today's video pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa converse of hinge theorem or sss inequality theorem so converse of hinge theorem or sss inequality theorem states that if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, but the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second. Ayan, so kabalikta na lang po ito ng hinge theorem. So i-discuss natin siya through the following figure. So, let's have triangle ABC and triangle EDF. So, kung napapansin nyo, yung ating dalawang triangles ay merong dalawang congruent sides. So, si segment AB congruent kay segment ED at si segment AC ay congruent kay segment EF. So, si segment DF ay greater than kay segment BC. So, kapag ka... Mas mahaba yung uh, side natin sa ating unang triangle, yung kanyang uh, angle ang ating ang mas malaki doon sa pangalawa. So, uh, angle E is greater than angle A. So, let's have another figure. So, meron tayo dito ang triangle red at triangle blue. So, silang dalawa ay merong congruent sides which is RE congruent to BU and RD congruent to BL. Kung i-compare natin yung third side ni triangle blue kay triangle red, mas mahaba po ito, which is segment LU greater than siya kay segment ED. So, kapag gaganyan ang case, yung included uh, angle ng ating longer side na si triangle blue which is angle B ay greater than sa included angle ng, na ating triangle red, which is angle R. So, yun po yung concept ni Converse of Hinge Theorem na kung saan nakapag, ang dalawang triangle natin ay may uh, two congruent sides. So, yung third side, titingnan nyo kung sino yung mas mahaba. At kung sino yung mas mahaba, yung included angle noon ang mas malaki. So, meron tayo dito ang dalawang triangles, which is triangle SAK at triangle YOU. So, silang dalawa ay merong dalawang congruent sides. So, ano kaya ang conclusion ang mabubuo natin dito gamit ang converse of hinge theorem? So, para malaman nyo ang sagot, i-compare nyo po yung third sides ng bawat triangle. Kung sino yung may pinakamahabang third side, yung included angle nito ang pinaka malaki. And since ang ating pinakamahabang sides ay si uh, third side ay si triangle SK, so if segment SK is greater than segment OU, then angle A is greater than angle Y. So yun yung ating conclusion. So, ngayon naman, application tayo ng converse of the hinge theorem. So, what is the range of the possible values for x? So, ito yung ating figure. So, maghahanap tayo ng mga possible value ni x. So, sa segment RU is congruent to segment TU. Uh, segment US is congruent to segment US. So, angle RUS is equals to 60 degree. So, segment RS is equals to 15, segment TS is equals to 10, and angle TUS is equals to 5x minus 20. So, yung at, ito yung ating equation. So, ano ang possible value ni x dito sa ating given? So, meron lamang po tayong dalawang step na dapat gawin. So, step 1. Find an upper limit for the value of x. So, we have segment RS is greater than segment TS. And the measure of angle RUS is greater than the measure of angle TUS. So, we have 60 greater than 5x minus 20. So, solve for the value of x. So, combine similar terms. So, we have 80 is greater than 5x. 
then 16 is greater than x. And then step 2, find a lower limit for the value of x. So the measure of angle TUS is greater than 0. So lagi po siyang greater than 0. So we have 5x minus 20 is greater than 0. So solve for x. So we have x is greater than 4. So the range of the possible values for x is x is uh, greater than 4 but less than 16. So yun po yung ating sagot. So ganun lang po kadaling maintindihan ang concept ni converse of his theorem or tinatawag rin natin siyang SSS inequality theorem si uh, dahil uh, nagbe-base po tayo sa mga sides ng ating mga triangles. So sana po may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Yun lamang po. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.